Hey guys, Tom Coyle here, back for Sound Effects Premiere in Ormskirk with another demo, this time of this beautiful gold pedal. Who can beat gold pedal? That's awesome. This is the AD2 from Boss and it's an acoustic preamp. And essentially this is the, uh, the acoustic sound brain, if you like, from the VE8. And it's giving you some really, really great um, parameters that you can adjust that will give you back on any stage the real kind of um, sophisticated or complex resonance of your acoustic guitar. Now most piezo or magnetic pickup, magnetic, if I can put my teeth back in, pickup solutions for acoustic guitars don't give you that complex acoustic kind of resonance characteristic that you associate with a great acoustic. You kind of lose it in the process of um, the pickup. Now this, the AD2, is designed to give that back to you with just basically the easiest, simplistic kind of uh, user interface. Uh, really, really simple to use. Now, the, the sound engine in here, Bottas Sound Engine, is designed to adjust multiple parameters on the fly um, internally where you're just changing one knob, basically. So uh, it's designed to always make you sound as good as you possibly can do, but be very, very user-friendly, which is really, really great. Um, you've got three controls on there. We've got an ambience control, which is a pro-level studio reverb designed for acoustic guitars. It's not over the top, it's very, very musical, uh, but very high quality, as you'll hear shortly. Then we've got the notch control. Now, this is a feedback notch control, and we haven't got any feedback in the room, but trust me, if you are on stage and you're getting um, a particular kind of um, feedback that's a particular frequency, rather than trying to figure out what that frequency is, just dial the notch control until it disappears, and you are good to go. Very, very straightforward to use. You haven't got sort of multiple parametric EQs or, or frequency bands to deal with. Super straightforward. And then finally, the acoustic resonance control. Now that's the real key to this pedal, that sophisticated sound engine that's giving you back that characteristic resonance, that very sophisticated sound that, again, we associate with acoustic guitars. Um, so, any acoustic guitar that you've got that's got piezo or magnetic pickups in, this is gonna work great for you. Now, in terms of ins and outs, you've got your standard mono input, obviously, and then we've got two outs. We've got your standard output, and we're going to this AC60 Roland um, acoustic amplifier. Uh, just straight via a standard kind of cable. And then there's the line out, which is basically a, um, a full range PA out that you can send out, to, or DI out, sorry, to a PA system if you're not using a, an acoustic amplifier. So very fully featured. Again, runs off a standard kind of nine volt um, DC power supply or batteries. So um, I've got this beautiful tailor, which sounds great anyway, but what's really remarkable here is if you check out the difference between just running direct and then with the pedal bringing back some of that acoustic characteristic. I'm gonna set this acoustic resonance to about 12 o'clock and have a listen to what we get. So here's the guitar just as it normally sounds with the volume just over halfway and I've set the EQ controls on the Taylor Expression System to flat, so they're not doing anything and we get this. <laughs> Now it sounds good, but again, it's a little bit kind of mid-heavy, a little bit boxy sounding. That's what you get from acoustic guitars using piezo or magnetic pickups. But as soon as we turn this on, the AD2, check this out. That beautiful woody characteristic or woody nature of an acoustic has come back again and we've got really nice high end, slightly scooped out those boxy mids and it just sounds really, really, really characteristically acoustic, which is really great. Now, I'm gonna show you some of the controls um, here in detail. So let's start with the ambience control. Now there is reverb on the AC60, but we've got it switched off so you can hear this. So at the moment, with the ambience control off, we've got this sound. <laughs> So let's dial in some ambience. We'll go about halfway. And now we've got... We're gonna just a little bit of a room reverb in there. And 
Now, to really hear this, if we dial it all the way up, again, check out how, um, it, what you find with kind of cheaper reverbs is the tail is very brittle. Now this reverb has a very, very, very dense, very nice sounding tail, very realistic. But Boss have very cleverly voiced it when the control is all the way up, it's not getting in the way at all. It is literally adding ambience. No, it's not called like a hall reverb, it's ambience. Really beautiful, in fact, so beautiful, I'm gonna leave it on. I really, really like it. The notch control I won't show you because we just don't have a feedback issue in this room, but if we did, again, it's just simply dial it to the point where the feedback disappears and you're good to go and it doesn't affect your tone. Okay, so the acoustic resonance, let's dial it all the way off. And now we've got... Getting back to that boxy kind of sound. Just doesn't sound particularly acoustic-y, is that even a word, in nature, I'm sure you know what I mean. Whereas if we dial it even halfway, you get this. And if we take it all the way, what you're gonna hear is, this is like using a, a, a big fat kind of almost jumbo style guitar, that bottom end really kicks in. We've got the thump, the characteristic thump of a mic'd up guitar, acoustic guitar. And there's no brittleness, there's no quack in there or anything, it just sounds very natural indeed. I mean obviously it's coming through an amp here, but it sounds super natural. So, if you're after a pedal to make your acoustic guitar sound like the acoustic guitar that you spent all that money on when you're playing on stage, the AD2 is a superb choice. And it looks cool as well, which is kind of important. So, there you go guys, that's the AD2, new from Boss, available from Sound Effects Premiere in Ormskirk. My name's Tom Quayle, and I will see you next time.